Hello, welcome to EGN 3613. Engineering Economics Analysis is a course that addresses economic evaluation of engineering alternatives. Mainly, the course concern is calculating project costs, including interest rate, tax implication, risk, and depreciation, to assess the relative worth of engineering and generic investment alternatives. My name is Professor Youssef and I will be your instructor for this course. Please feel free to contact me via email or through virtual office hours using Microsoft Teams. Please take the time to view, read and understand all provided material. 99% of your questions are addressed in the syllabus and in the posted material. My virtual office hours are posted under the announcements tab through the online learning system and in the syllabus. For easy access to the course material, I created a link within the welcome announcement. Uh, click here to start, which will take you to the welcome lecture. The textbook is required. It's called Fundamentals of Engineering Economics by uh, Chan Park. Uh, you can find the book in the bookstore or online. Uh, you can use adall.com to display uh, all the co companies selling this book and the lowest price offered whether it's new or used you can buy used ones you can use as a reference principles of engineering economics analysis fifth edition by uh, white uh, case and pratt uh, you can you don't need to buy it um, if you can find it in public library or uh, uh, if you can find it in uh, the Daytona State College Library, that will be uh, good. It's a good book to utilize during uh, this uh, course period of time, and um, you will learn other things from that book. So it's it's up to you to uh, find the book. Uh, but again, this is just a reference. Uh, you don't need to buy it. You don't need to have it with you. One of the main questions that I have been asked by students uh, for this course is what's in it for me? Why do I need to take this course and learn about economics analysis? First, you will be able to speak the language of the financial people in their language. Since many companies are run by fin finance, uh, finance and accounting people and not to forget that the world revolves around money. Second, you will be able to evaluate projects from the financial perspective, for example, which machine should we buy? And when you are in a company and they have production line, the machines are in millions of dollars. So as an engineer, you should be able to evaluate the different machines that you, they are going to buy and select the uh, proper one uh, for uh, that uh, uh, production line or maybe you can lease it so it depends on uh, what uh, the company will decide uh, you just put the evaluation uh, and you put your recommendation as an engineer uh, including the cost and that will assist uh, that will assist the management in making the proper decision in addition you will have benefits on the personal level um, you will know you will plan for retirement you will be able to make decisions of buying or leasing a car you can evaluate the best loan uh, options and home mortgages you can use it for simple and hard decisions and you can use it for live long decisions <coughs> many students think that this uh, uh, course is a tough course actually it's not um, although it's based on math but all uh, what you need is to pay attention to the class requirements watch lectures read assignments uh, or assigned material uh, do every assignment and if you have a problem don't hesitate to email uh, or chat uh, with me through microsoft teams and i will explain it for you the more problems you solve uh, on your own the better understanding you will have to the course material and again you know the math in it is like uh, basic algebra it's not like it doesn't have uh, integration or uh, differentiation it's just basic algebra so 
the math should not be uh, the problem uh, and you should be able to um, succeed in this course if you uh, again uh, watch the lectures and read the assigned material and do the assignments yourself apply yourself at the beginning of the course uh, don't expect to catch up later uh, you might not be able to uh, don't expect to uh, read uh, the book during a test uh, you will not be able to understand the book during a test uh, or find the material during the test don't wait until the last minute to study for the exam uh, this is the same as math the more you practice the better you are in this uh, course and uh, you need to understand all course uh, terminologies if you need any help again uh, you have uh, tutoring for uh, this course uh, you have uh, and the tutoring hour will be published online under announcement and also you have me uh, uh, as your instructor for chatting or for um, uh, email or communication through email where i can help you with understanding the course material the course is online, so all course material will be available for you through the online learning system. Uh, your homepage will display the different courses uh, where you can click on your course of interest to access course information. I suggest that you navigate through the different tabs to get yourself familiar with the course organization, although you know by now I'm assuming that you already took uh, many courses before and you know how to navigate, but if not, then just click through the different tabs uh, and uh, learn uh, about the system, how it works, uh, what, uh, what does it include un under uh, each tab, and you will know exactly how to use the system. In addition, I would suggest that you log in at least once every 24 hours to stay current with the course requirements and any changes that might happen uh, during the semester. For easy access, all course material including assignments, discussions, quizzes, presentations, lectures, and supplemental material have been posted under the course content tab. So you don't have to even go to, to other tabs. If you click on content, you will see everything under course content. Um, if the only tab that you need to uh, maybe navigate to or worry about is grades, where you can check on your grades and come back to the content where you can find uh, all the activities required in this course. Um, all uh, activities are published under modules. The modules will be released on a weekly basis as the semester progresses. You need to access your online courses daily to check for, latest, uh, for the latest updates and due dates. Uh, the syllabus quiz should be completed during the first week remember this is the first activity the first activity that you need to finish the syllabus quiz failing to complete the quiz could lead to purging from the course and you will not be able to view the next module of the course material the idea of the quiz is to um, again to see how active the students are and if you are participating from day one so make sure uh, to uh, complete the quiz and show that you are uh, attending the course, you are participating, and you are active in that course. Um, during the semester, I will be monitoring uh, your progress, so I will look at your participation, and all students will be required to complete a weekly discussion, which should be due by Sunday of each week. Make every attempt to post your initial response by the middle of the module week and respond to at least one of your peers uh, by the end of that week. The first week will not include a discussion. Uh, again, the first week is for the quiz. So the first week will not include a discussion since it's just the course information. The discussion posting will begin from week two. The weekly discussion is to answer the questions posted and reply to at least one of your classmates posts before the end of the submission period. The question should be answered after reviewing the course material. Uh, make sure when you submit or you, when you uh, post your discussion to post it in the form of questions and answers as given in the template. The third question is uh, asking about 
uh, if you have any questions for that course week if you don't have any questions uh, uh, during that week you can say none at this point and that will be fine as stated before it's required to complete the weekly discussion and that will assist you in uh, viewing the next module material and uh, will assist me in monitoring your activity uh, it's uh, for participation so if you don't complete it I will know that you are not participation in the, participating in the class so this is for your participation make sure to participate on a weekly basis so I know that you are active in the class use the provided channels to communicate with me the more you communicate that better you will understand the course material and course requirements email message messages should be or should have the subject as the name of the course and the problem you have by doing this then I will know uh, the course number that you are asking about and I know the problem that you are concerned about use professional language and professional words when writing your email the chat language will not be accepted in the email virtual uh, virtual office hours are posted online with Microsoft Teams you can share documents share screen and post questions as needed we can do a video conference and I explain for I can explain for you the uh, questions or the problems that you would like me to address Assignment submission should be through Falcon Online. Do not, please do not email me any assignments unless you've been asked to do so. Late assignments will not be accepted. Uh, use the following format for assignment name submission. Uh, when you submit your assignment, you need to have this file naming format. The assignment number A1, A2, A3, whatever, underscore 3613, underscore your last name. And that will assist me when I download it on my desktop then I will know the assignment number I'll know the course that it came from and I will know to whom it, it belongs so please uh, follow this format and that will assist me in tracking your submission and grading it properly write your full name and email address at the top of the first page of that assignment and again that will assist me to track your submission the assignment should be submitted in Microsoft Word uh, format or PDF. Make sure to show your work. This is math. Uh, it has lots of math, lots of calculations. So show me your work. It's not just show me the answer and just put a number there at the end of the question. No, you need to show me step by step. How did you reach that answer? So please show your work. Otherwise, um, uh, points will, will be subtracted for that uh, there will be two exams through the whole semester midterm and, and a final both exams will have 50 questions true false and multiple choice questions with two points each the final will include all chapters within the course material if you have any questions you can either email it to me or use the chat uh, during my uh, virtual office hours it's very important to work uh, and submit all course activities having high grades in the exams does not mean uh, that you will pass the course all activities are designed to complement each other and to assist in the learning process so if you have questions about the grades just email it to me and I will be more than glad to answer your question or review your exam or your submission the goal from the engineering economics analysis course is to provide students with an understanding of the analysis of cost elements in technical operations and uh, the basis for comparison of alternatives uh, different projects different machines uh, different uh, uh, implementations or uh, alternatives by the end of the semester you should be uh, able to formulate and solve time value of money problems you will understand the value of the uh, interest in the formula 
you will identify sources of data and apply appropriate techniques to solve economic problems. You will, ex you will be able to explain the importance of making appropriate economic decisions, and you will be able to explain the impact of engineering economics decisions in a global and societal context. The topics that will be covered are engineering economics decisions, um, the proper way of uh, taking that decision, or the problem solving process, the time value of money, understanding money management, uh, equivalence calculation uh, under infl inflation. So we're going to start talking about inflation and how would that affect that decision making process for engineers. And then the present worth analysis, annual uh, equivalence analysis, and rate of return analysis. And those are different way of analyzing and looking at the projects and uh, some works uh, in, in uh, 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 certain scenarios, some in other scenarios. So we will learn all these uh, techniques or um, analysis uh, approaches so we can decide or make the proper decision of selecting the uh, project or the machine that will be required for uh, the company. And then uh, we will have resolution of multiple rates of return and then at the end we will talk about the depreciation and income taxes and how would that affect also the decision making process. We will be using Microsoft Excel to solve problems so that will be uh, very important to understand and know how to do it. Uh, your assignments will be submitted in uh, Microsoft Word but uh, you can either include the Excel file within the Word documents, you can take uh, screenshots uh, for the spreadsheet or you can uh, insert the spreadsheet within Microsoft Word. Uh, lectures will include examples on how to use Excel for different calculations. We will be using Microsoft Teams for virtual office hours. So Microsoft Teams is a video conferencing tool provided by the college through Office 365. You can use it to text, voice or video chat to ask questions during office hours. And don't, don't um, forget also we can use the email for any questions. So you can either use the Microsoft Teams or you can use the email. That would be all for the session. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to use the giving communication channels and I will be more than glad to address your concerns and answer your questions. Thank you and have a great day.